I'm Smithy and there's the Contiki and thanks for clicking on the video. Let's have a look at the sunset there, can you see that? Oh, they stood on the dog. I'll tell you why I like these park ups. Not only is there a police parking behind me, but look, you're away from the traffic with the reservation and the only marker post I don't know if you can see it, it just says it's for cycling and pedestrians on this path. So why people are parking like on grass verges or anywhere let me just turn you around there you are. why people are parking on grass verges like Pembrokeshire I've read it on social media and it says Oh, you're being moved on, you're being ticketed. If, you, if it says don't park, they don't go there. Move, go somewhere you can park. So I moved a bit further away because there's a lot of traffic there, you'd never have... Uh, just testing you can hear me. You wouldn't have heard me down there, there's a bit, a bit of traffic noise. But there's the view, look. There's my van down there somewhere. But the, the point of this video is, is, I've just walked past some beer cans there. Look at Benji sniffing cans. See, if they were next to my van, which they're not, my van's up there, we'd all get the blame for that. If there's three or four vans out in the same park up and they were next to the vans, people would assume that you've done it. And it's got nothing to do with us. And I need a shave. If there was three or four vans next to mine, I think people would presume that we've done it. We've, we've had the beer and thrown them out. And obviously I haven't, I don't drink beer there, so... But we are stopping there tonight. But I have to take one dog at a time, because the video, and have two dogs, would be hard work. <laughs> but, uh, what a view, eh? Where's the sun gone? Oh, it's there somewhere. Bit cloudy. Preston's in lockdown, I believe. So it's moving. It's moving north, this uh, lockdown stuff. They were going to isolate all over 50s. Uh, I've been in isolation since it started, so it makes no difference to me. But, uh, yeah, if it says move, or there's a parking restriction, just don't go there, go somewhere else, it's not difficult. And why you would park on a grass verge, sort of blocking a road off? I've never heard anything like it. I would never do it. It only takes two or three bad ones to tire everybody with the same brush. You know, all right, we've all been guilty of having a pee behind a bush. But we're not all guilty of emptying your, your waste somewhere, you know, do it properly. Do it at home, do it in a, you know, if there's an outdoor pub, public lavatory that you can pay 20p to go, do it in there, but do, do it discreetly where, pay, you know. Go to a campsite and just say, can I empty my toilet? You know, it's five or whatever, three quid. So that's the moral of the story. Why are we parking silly? Why is everybody, I, I, me and Sue had the whole intention of replacing that van eventually. And that's why I've never altered it in any way, always knowing that I'm going to replace it. I'll face you this way and you can see Williamson's Park at Lancaster. Can you? So that was our all intention was replacing it eventually. And so I've never actually done anything to it. And I went to look at a few vans the other day from where I bought mine from. And he said, we're very busy. And from this spot where you bought yours, we're selling caravans. The vans we've actually bought on other premises to sell the vans from. So anyway, I went to have a look, and he's, he's bought a new site to sell motorhomes. It has took off, and he had, I think there was five motorhomes, four were sold, he had one left, which was a Mercedes, something or other, lowliner, it was 51,000, out of my league. <laughs> so, that's why we didn't bother, but uh, yeah, sold them all. So if, every, if so many people are buying them, try and be responsible. It ain't difficult. I've never been in trouble with my motorhome, ever. You know, I've owned it for two years. But I've had caravans for years, I've had motorhomes. This is me, I've had one, two... I've had two Volkswagens and a Talbot. So this is my fourth camper van. And I've never had a problem with any of them. And we've wild camped all over the place. Even in Paris and France and on the outskirts. And I just don't understand. Don't go buying a transit van, convert it and park anywhere you want. Be, be sensible. If it says move or there's a restriction, move on, park somewhere else. Use the park for night app. I'll show you the three words as to where I'm parked. 
so you can find this lay-by. There's actually four lay-bys on this uh, bypass. This is the bypass from the M6 to Morecambe. It gets you past Lancaster. It won't take you to Heesham Harbour eventually, but there's four, there's four lay-bys on, on this stretch. If I just show you. I don't know if I can show you where my van is. There's four lay-bys on this stretch. Right? That are separated by... Uh, Traffic Island. So there's four laybys on this stretch, and then further up there's two more. But the other two, after you get past the traffic lights, they're not separated from the traffic, so you'd get all the buffeting and noise and everything. Why do you keep wrapping around my legs? Anyway, I'll show you the funny ad we at, at the end, and uh, you'll see what he's uh, trying to brush all this uh, brush his fur. That was fun. I did do it eventually, but it took a while. George was alright, George lets me do it, but he, he wouldn't. But anyway, I'll show you. So, yeah, that's the moral of the story for the video. Just just, just be sensible, safe. And don't be silly, you're tiring everybody with the same brush. Only takes one idiot in a motorhome, and that's everybody tired, that's, you know, oh, they're no good then, what? And we'll all get tired with the same thing. So there you go. So, that being said, stay safe, be lucky, and Smithy and his contiki and the dogs and so I'll see you again. My favourite bench. There's a fella sat up there taking photographs of the, the bay. But he did tell me. Look at all the cloud. Let's see if we can just show you the uh, Lakeland Hills. Focus. There's the Lakeland Hills and Morecambe Bay. There you go. Right, come on, Benji. Come on, George. I'll give you a brush. Now that, I actually like that. Now that. You like that? You don't have a lot of fur coming off, George. Come on, Benji. Right, you can go. Let's get Benji. Come here, then. Where are you going? Right. <laughs> it's only a brush. Come on. Benji. Right. Come here. Come here, yeah. What have you chucked all your stuffing out your toys for? No, you've had your turn, George. So look at your eye. You better sleep there, baby. Hang on, another one. There we are. Look. See? That's all it is. A brush. That's it, Georgie. Here, have a look. <laughs> Hello, baby. Tell the to get a brush. Tell the to have a brush. Right, come here. Benji, come on, I want to brush you. Right. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing it or not? Come on then. Good boy. Got a hole in my uh, my kayak. Oh. Anyway, I bought a thing online to fix the hole, patch it. Oh. Right, Benji, come on. I'm supposed to be brushing you. You're wearing me out. <laughs> 